Hi, in this video, we're going to start looking at how to classify a quadrilateral. So, of course, before we start classifying quadrilaterals, we actually have to know what a quadrilateral is. So, a quadrilateral is a figure, a closed figure with four sides. Um, this video, I'm not going to go into super details about all types of quadrilaterals. I'm going to just go over the main ones, the most popular four ones, and I'm just going to outline just enough for you to understand the difference between these four types of quadrilaterals. Uh, just so you can see if this is the video you need, the quadrilaterals that we'll be looking at today are the parallelogram, the rhombus, the rectangle, and the trapezoid. So if it's information about one of those four things that you need, stay tuned. If not, there is another video that, or an, another several videos where I go into detail for each type of quadrilateral. Okay, so First of all, let's look at a parallelogram and what that is. All right, so I'm gonna draw a parallelogram right now. Right there, right there, right there. Oh, and I failed. Let's try again. All right, so what makes this a parallelogram? All right, this is a parallelogram because we have two pairs of parallel sides. And here's how I can indicate to someone looking at my work that the sides are parallel. All right, so because I have one arrow here and one arrow here, that's indicating that these two sides are parallel. And because I have two arrows here and two arrows here, that's indicating that these two sides are parallel. Now, this is a parallelogram, again, and the reason because that I know it's a parallelogram is because there are two pairs of parallel sides. Okay, and that's what makes a parallelogram a parallelogram. Um, they are, there are more properties of this, but this is the main property that we need to understand. Okay. So the next figure, now that we know what a parallelogram is, we're going to use that in a couple of our definitions here. So the next figure that I'm going to draw is a rhombus. It looks a lot like the parallelogram, but there is something very, very specific to the rhombus that was not the case for the parallelogram. So we still have two pairs of parallel sides. So that is parallel to that, and this is parallel to this. So this is, in fact, a parallelogram, but there's something more specific about this parallelogram. And I'll put marks in blue to show you what that is. This side, this side, and this side, and this side. All four sides are equal in length to each other. The word is congruent. All four sides are congruent to each other. That means their lengths are equal. That makes this parallelogram more specifically a rhombus. So this is a rhombus. Oops. R H. There we go. And this is a rhombus because it is a parallelogram. That's the first criteria to be being a rhombus. with four congruent sides, or four sides that are equal in length. And again, we know the four sides are equal in length, not because they look like they're equal, but because of these little hash marks that you see here, that blue line, that little blue line, those four blue lines indicate that those four sides are equal to each other. Okay. So the next shape that we will look at is going to be our rectangle. And that's probably something you've seen over and over and over. But we definitely need to know what makes it a rectangle. So surprise, surprise, our rectangle is actually also a parallelogram because we have two pairs of parallel sides in our rectangle. But this is more specifically a rectangle because in addition to the two pairs of parallel sides, we also have four right angles. Oops, there we go. 
and we can indicate our right angles with little squares in the corners. All right, so this is a rectangle because it is a parallelogram, so that's the first criteria it has to meet. It is a parallelogram with four right angles. So let me get closer here. There we go. And finally, the last quadrilateral that we will look at in this video is the trapezoid. So a trapezoid is not a parallelogram. It is not a parallelogram because it does not have two parallel sides. Let me draw one so we can look at it while we speak. I have run out of space. I will make it work. Okay. Okay. So this is not a parallelogram. It actually only has one pair of parallel sides. Now, what is important about our trapezoid is that it has one pair of parallel sides and only one pair of parallel sides. It has to have exactly one pair of parallel sides. And that's what makes it a trapezoid. So uh, let's write that down. A trapezoid, let me use a different color. So trapezoid has exactly one pair of parallel sides. And with this in mind, I should be able to draw any of these quadrilaterals with the symbols, either the arrows, the hash marks, or the right angle marks. And you should be able to tell me if I've drawn a parallelogram, a rhombus, a rectangle, or a trapezoid.